Welcome back everybody, Red Thorn here, bringing you Castle Siege number 19 here in Lineage 2 Revolution. Let's go! So just to let everybody know what happened yesterday, there were actually five real fights. Four of those fights, the combat power difference between the two clans was more than 60 million. And for the fifth one, it was 30 million. I recorded that 30 million one. It lasted a grand total of 3 minutes and 53 seconds. I've told people before, if the fights are under 5 minutes, it just wasn't worth doing anymore. I have done a few sub 5 minute fights before. It, it was a complete waste of time. So I made a decision to not do anything under 5 minutes. That fight was, was uh, like I said, 3 minutes 53 seconds. Congratulations to Fira for winning that one. Uh, now we have Castle Siege. This fight here is a true two on two. I will not be recording this one, but that one should be a good one to watch if you are there. Dion, this one, obviously, that's staying with Party On. So the one that I will be recording is Giron. This is a one versus three. Yangai are part of Party On, defending against FSK, Fira, Korea. Now, I've got to show you, we have a, four minutes before the beginning of this battle, so i got to do this quickly. I'm going to bust out the calculator, and we're going to tell you exactly what they are up against. All right, so we have 518.8 million. We're just going to say 518.8 plus 392.8 plus 397.8. Six. That is a grand total of 1,307,000,000 combat power in totality for those three clans. That is higher than the other one that I recorded before. But let's head into the battlefield. We have, let's see, down here, I've got Korea, bottom right. I've got FSK in the middle, and obviously Fira on the left. FSK. Are they going to be able to break this uh, this curse that they have here in Castle Siege? Where they always seem to get eliminated. They always seem to be the highest combat power clan participating and gets eliminated first. That's It's been kind of a curse to them. They are backed up by a couple of uh, decent clans, powerful clans here. And I've never actually seen Yengire defend in Castle, I don't think. So this is going to be interesting. I will see you guys at the 10 second countdown. 10 seconds before we begin. 5 seconds before we begin. And... Here we go! Castle Siege! Number 19, Gengar defending against 1.3 billion in combat power for the resistance. Yangire is going... This is going to be interesting. If... Alright, looks like they're going to try to set up a wall here. They're going to allow them to break through this gate. Which, they've gotten one down. They will get this other one down quickly. And here is where the battle really begins. With this gate down. What is Yangire going to do? You know they're going to send some people. I see FSK. I see Korea's. Siege Headquarters. Both of those. Boy, they split their forces. And they're going after both of them. Fira's is they're going after all three of them now. That is outstanding. There goes the Yang guy right here. Bam. Alright, they've, they've taken a slice off that one. That's FSK in the middle. Of course, we, we're going to have to wait for somebody to it. It takes too long. I really, I'm really wary of using these waypoints because I know it's going to crash. I know it's going to crash. FSK, they, it's, I'm telling you.
They are really... It's like, it's like Party On has FSK's number in, in Castle Siege. Yangire keeping them more or less out of their castle while allowing a select few to go in and take down and wear down these sie uh, siege camps. Simply not allowing... This is how you defend. This is the same thing I think I saw before. Shout out to Winter. And Geyer's Seize Camp is approaching the halfway mark of being destroyed. Unfortunately, they're not really going after Korea too much. So I want I have to sit here and wait for Yangair to actually attack this so I can see it. The altar of water has been They are going hard at FSK right now. It looks like they've managed to push their way into... Look at this. This defense tower is almost gone. They would love to take out FSK. Goes that defense tower for this particular gate, audience chamber gate. They have it over halfway dead. That's Azura. I remember reading about that particular person and how they they just run around in circles and, and everyone chases them, allowing other FS or other Yangai or people or whomever he happens to be with um, to, to go in and do some damage. But there goes the audience chamber tower, uh, or gate, excuse me. But I'm telling you right now, even if they manage to get past all this, boy, they're going to be in for the fight of their life. Oh, oh Korea. Korea got, got there just to say that they could, I guess. But Yangair, they will red gem... ...will red gem their way... For sure, to ensure that they win this. There goes the defense tower for one of the altars. Ah, it's not looking too good for Yangire here. Unless I can take this this tower down. Oh wow! Never mind. They are getting close. I'm gonna sit here because they would love to take this at least one of these these clans out. It it'll completely change how everything goes on, and they are trying. Altar of 
I don't, I, you know what? Because I can't see the bars, I completely missed who actually got that. But we are about to see FSK eliminated in less than 10 minutes for like, what, the third or fourth time that I've, I've been recording FSK in these. They are going hard at this right now. And there goes FSK, eliminated at about the 22 minute mark. And now it is a two on one. And it looks like they're going at the Korea. So maybe I can actually see what their thing is at. Oh, Korea's that that's that's not Korea. That's Korea. Derp. Yep. I think we're witnessing the beginning of the end of this castle siege, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think you're you're probably not gonna see too many more holy artifact imprinting going on with the elimination of FSK. We're just going to sit here and watch as they wear this down. Okay, well, somebody got up there to, to try to imprint. But Yangire is not going to leave it completely unprotected, that's for sure. That's going to be a hot minute. And I just crashed while using the waypoint. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And it did. I'm not shocked. So the, uh, out of all these updates and patches, they still haven't fixed the fact that you crash while using a waypoint in Fortress or Castle Siege. So there goes my... I mean, I had to try it. I was really hoping they had it fixed. They didn't have it fixed. I won't be using the waypoints anymore. That... I mean, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. But it's still super annoying. Half a billion, defending against 1.3 billion. But again, you have to understand they are defending and not attacking. So some will argue that they had an easier time, quote unquote easier time at this. And there goes Korea, eliminated from Castle Siege 19. And all of Yangire is going to go hauling ass over to Fira. The fiercely independent republic of academics. You thought I was going to say something else, didn't you? We are two and a half minutes from the halfway point.
I am challenging Yangire to finish this before 15 minutes. We got two minutes and five seconds to do it. The siege camp is half dead. It is getting just beat up right now. I think they're going to do it. I wouldn't be shocked if Fear just said, "Yeah, I mean, you're here. there's the thing." Yangire successfully defended Garen Castle. <laughs> A little bit of the lake. Congratulations to Yangire for successfully defending their castle in a one on three. 500 million versus 1.3 billion. Here are your stats. Not too shabby. They did it in under 15 minutes. <laughs> Two challenges. Uh, taken. Okay, there, there are those. Here's FSK. All right, here's Fira. That was FSK. Here's Fira. And here is Korea. Not a bad fight, though. Not too shabby. But once FSK was eliminated, I mean, that was... Hey, they did pretty well. They got up to the Holy Artifact. They pushed their way through a couple of gates. There are your stats. That one's still going. That's a two on. Uh, that's a two on two. So good luck to to those individuals. Angari had some mercenaries. Dynasty has some mercenaries. Your has mercenaries. Potatoes has mercenaries. I want to see what Yangire's, uh 501 million, 502, and they defended against 1.3 billion. Not too shabby. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Tell me what you think about this fight. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.